Hello, everybody. How y'all doing today? We are going to get ready to do some stuffed bell peppers. Are y'all ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. Mm, mm, let's do it. All right, y'all. We have some ground beef. I'm going to just use half of that. You know, we got a whole lot of seasonings. Uh, we're going to add in some black beans and corn. I've already drained them and rinsed them. And the leftovers, I made a black bean corn salad. Now over here, we do have what we have. We have white onion. We have the tops of the bell peppers that I cut off, the orange and red. We also have green and some fresh garlic. We have some mozzarella cheese that we're gonna put on top after we stuff it. We also have a pot of rice. I will be using one cup of rice in the mixture. And these are our bell peppers right here. I have the oven set for 350. I'm gonna bake these now for 10 minutes, y'all. So let's put these in the oven. And I'll set the timer for 10 minutes. Let's get this beef in the pot. Let's get this on. On the side, we're going to have some macaroni and cheese, y'all. So, I'm ready to get it started. We're going to be using salt, all-purpose, black pepper, cumin, red pepper flakes, of course, Spanish smoked paprika. I love that. Both garlic and onion powder. And of course, I'm going to sprinkle in some basil and I'm going to sprinkle some uh, beef bouillon powder, that is. And I'll tell you the measurements. Y'all already know I, when you are really a cook, you don't have to put it in the measuring cups and all that, the measuring spoons. I know how to sprinkle and make my food taste good. Yes. So can I say I'm seasoned? Hey, hey. All right, y'all, let's open this up and then we'll, we'll freeze what we don't use. Oh, I need a... Oh, I have a spoon right here. I need a spoon, y'all. I'm going to rinse that, though. It's been sitting there. All right. Well, y'all, can we open it? I probably should have already had it all, huh? But that's okay. We're going to use half. That's about two pounds, because I think this is four pounds. Let me see. No, this is three pounds. So let's get this in this skillet. Oh, it's hot, too. Y'all ready? I'm going to get it just a little bit more, y'all. Let, let me wash my hands. Let's cut this fry down some. On medium high, y'all. Let's break up this meat. It might be too much meat. Uh, but what's left over, we'll freeze it and we'll add some uh, tomato sauce and some other stuff and put it over some rice. How about that? <laughs> or, well, I was going to say noodles, but man, yeah, I think it's too much. So we'll see. All right, y'all. We're going to go ahead and add in our vegetables. 
all of them. Let's put them on in, honey. Let it cook down with this meat. Let me go ahead and add in one tablespoon of pepper, black pepper. One tablespoon of garlic powder and onion powder. We're going to add in a half a tablespoon of paprika. That's, this smoked paprika, y'all, is good. I told y'all I found that at uh, Ross. I'm going to put in one tablespoon of basil. We're going to use a half a tablespoon. I don't want to sprinkle that. A half a tablespoon of red pepper flakes. Oh, that's too much, child. There you go. We're going to add in a, a teaspoon of salt. We're going to add in a half a tablespoon of all-purpose. And we're going to add in a half a tablespoon of cumin. Let's give that a stir. Oh, y'all, if I tell y'all this smells delicious. Yesterday I had the time to take one of my neighbors who is 89 to the store. We, we shop child. She don't act like she's that old either, honey. She is vibrant. She kind of mean, though. She kind of argumentative, too. I told her I'm going to put you out of my car. Oh, y'all, I think, yeah, this is way too much, but we will actually put this in the freezer once it cool off that that's left over. Make it like some goulash. Oh, now, y'all, we can add some noodles and now make goulash with it. How about that? Oh, yeah, that would be good. That's pretty, too, y'all. Y'all see how pretty that is? Pretty. Let's let that cook. We got that broken up enough. We'll let that cook on medium high. And Lord, it smells good. We're gonna make some uh, crab deluxe mac and cheese. I'm not gonna make it on camera. I'm going to cut up some. Um, well, I'm gonna shred some more cheddar to make it really, really cheesy, y'all. So, let's let that brown, and we'll be back. All right, y'all, I'm back. I have drained the meat as well. Looking good. So, you know what I'm going to do? This is going to be too much. I'm going to take a bowl, and I'm going to transfer half of this meat in here because we're not going to need all this meat. I think, uh, I think this will be enough. Let's go ahead and add in our corn and black beans. Let's give that a stir, and then we'll take a cup of rice Oh, that look good. Let's go ahead and get us some rice in here. I think that ought to be a cup. That's 
throw the like some good rice. Oh yeah. Y'all, I cut up some uh, some cheese that we're going to be putting in the bottom of those bell peppers before we put in this mixture. I'll give that a good stir, y'all. Get that mixed up all in there, honey. Boy, that looks good, don't it? All right, let's cut that off. Now, we have pre-baked these uh, bell pepper for, I did 12 minutes, y'all. They're here. So I'm gonna put these over here. We're gonna bring that down so y'all can see me get them stuff. I got pepper jack cheese over here. And let's bring, let's bring the mozzarella over here as well. I cut up pepper jack cheese, and we're gonna put this pepper jack cheese right in the bottom of these bell pepper. I'm gonna do two slices because I did them thin. Uh, so I saw somebody use provolone. I'm not a big provolone lover, so I chose not to do provolone. But I love me some <clears throat> pepper jack cheese. That's gonna be so good, y'all. I think I want some more of that. Oh, honey. Mm-hmm. That's going to be good. Oh, yeah. That's it with the pepper jack. Now, let's get these stuffed. Do I need a smaller spoon, y'all? Probably not. Oh yeah, this is a lot in this pot, y'all. Mm. Boy, that's gonna be good. Well, I can always freeze the leftover and do more, huh? More stuffed peppers. Imagine what this will taste like after it has been froze for a while. That would be so good. Oh, that's hot. Let's switch directions now. And I think red and, and uh, yellow is so pretty. I didn't do green, y'all, because I think green bell pepper is a little bitter. So that's why I picked the sweeter ones. I think the red and the the uh, yellow is really bomb. But I do have green bell pepper cut in the mixture, y'all. Y'all saw that already, huh? We got some in the bottom now. We want to get that, y'all. We don't want that to burn at the bottom of this pan. But that cheese is going to be overflowing as well. Get that in there. I'm thinking I want to come back and I want to put some more. So it can be nice and stuffed in there. Mmm, 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 mmm. I better leave room for the cheese, huh? Oh, yeah, we can get some more now, y'all. Oh, and I'm off tomorrow, y'all. I don't have nothing to do. Oh, y'all, that's going to be so good. All right, y'all. Now, without further ado... We're gonna now get some mozzarella in this 
on top of these. And we're going to bake these for 20 minutes until the bell pepper get cooked. Put as much cheese as you want, honey. Probably should have put some foil at the bottom of this pan because that cheese is going to be sticking down there, y'all. I want cheese. Look how pretty that is. Let me wash my hands. Set the timer for 20 minutes. Get that off the fire. We'll be back. Okay, y'all, let's do this macaroni and cheese. Is it already boiled? It's the Crab Deluxe. Let me tell you how I'm making more cheesy. You know, they got that squeeze out cheese. We'll get this open right now and get that squeezed on in there. I like to put salt and pepper on it as well. And then I'm going to show y'all what I do. Y'all see I got that milk out over there. So let's get that in there. All of it. Oh y'all, it's on my hands. Let's get that out. Let me get the butter out, y'all, because I'm going to tell you what I show you, yeah, yeah, show you what I do. I'm only going to add like a tablespoon, not a tablespoon, yeah, a tablespoon, a half a tablespoon of butter. I want a little salt and pepper. I, I like like a half a teaspoon of salt. We don't want that much salt on there, y'all. We don't know what's in that cheese. And I want some black pepper. Uh, a half a tablespoon, y'all. Now, we got the rest of this mozzarella. We're gonna pour in there. And then I shredded some cheddar, sharp cheddar as well. We'll get this in here. We got a little milk right here, but first what I want to do, I wanna get it stirred. And we're gonna add just a little milk to keep it creamy, y'all. Oh, look at that. Is that milk jug in the way? Hot damn. Let's get that milk in there. Just a dab, y'all. Like a half a, not even, just a little, just to make it creamy. Y'all do as much as y'all want for that creaminess. Oh, y'all. Y'all see that creaminess? Look at that. Yes. I'm going to add just a little bit more milk. Oh, that looks so good. So good, y'all. That's it. That's how I make my extra cheesy macaroni and cheese, y'all. Bye. Y'all want to stay close up? Look at that close up. Mm-hmm.
There you go.